Hey guys, hello, hello. All right, let's talk New Year's resolutions or no more resolutions and why I'm a big fan of SMART goals versus a resolution, or I guess you could turn your resolution into a SMART goal, but this is what I wanna talk about today to make you successful with whatever your goals are for 2021. What's going on guys? Hello. All right, let's talk resolutions. I don't like resolutions, so you can get mad at me or whatever. I'm just not a fan of resolutions. And the reason, because they don't last, guys. The data is out there. By the end of January, over 70% of resolutions have been thrown to the wayside. So, and that's because they're typically a resolution, it's just such a general statement that you put out there that it, there's no accountability to it, there's no, how it's gonna happen, what it's gonna take to make it happen. There's no plan, there's no plan in place. So that's why I'm really big on SMART goals. Um, I ask all my clients to set a SMART goal just for January. Um, I don't even look for a year. I want it to be a small, sustainable goal, something that they can feel like they can accomplish in the short term, which is an action that creates results, which increases motivation to continue on working towards their goals past January. So you wanna set goals that, like I said, uh, like that, that are short, that are measurable, and that you can achieve and they don't seem so big or so broad that there's no plan in place for it. So let's talk about SMART goals. And this is what, I, if it was me, you were my client, this is what you would be doing, this is what I suggest. In order to achieve a goal, you have to have a plan in place, okay? You can't just, there's so many times, right? We go out and we have a bad weekend, we drink too much, we eat too much, we party too much, whatever the case may be, we bake too much, whatever it is, and you're saying to yourself Sunday night, all right, Monday morning it's on. I'm hitting the gym five times this week, I'm recording all my food, I'm getting my water in, blah, 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 blah but you don't put a plan in place for it, okay? So if it was Sunday night and that's the position I was in, I would sit down Sunday. I would look at my schedule. I would mark my workout days in my calendar and then I would stick to those workout days. I would not push them here or there. If it's a workout day, you work out. I would get my water bottle out and make sure it's clean and filled up and ready to go for the next day. I would meal prep the food on Sunday for all of the week ahead of me so that I have things in a plan in place to execute what these goals are. You can't just say it and then expect it to happen. You have to plan it, you have to take action in order for it to happen. So I ask my clients and I'm a big goal writer and this is when I set a goal, I follow the SMART goal format because it's just brilliant and it's easy and it puts the plan in place for you. So when you set a goal, instead of just saying, Okay, January 2021, I'm gonna drop five pounds. That's your goal. How, how are you gonna drop five pounds? What are you gonna do to achieve to drop five pounds? What are you gonna do if you fall off plan? How are you going to formulate your plan? What are you gonna do? So instead of saying, I'm gonna drop five pounds, I would use a SMART goal, okay? So I would, it's SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant, and Time-Based. So my goal would be, I would like to lose five pounds from January 1st to January 31st by working out three days a week for 45 minutes a piece, meal prepping my food every Sunday, drinking 120 ounces of water per day for the month of January to help me drop five pounds. So it's very specific and I have laid out what it is going to take in order for me to drop those five pounds in January. So I just encourage you to apply this to your resolution. Don't just make some general BS broad statement that you throw out there and two to three weeks later, it's gone. Set a plan for yourself. Be very specific about what it's going to take in order to achieve those goals. The other thing is you have to get your team on board. Every time I bring on a new client that has a family, I make them sit down with their family if they have not already and talk to their family about the program that they're in. You have to get your team on board, whether that's the people you live with, your coworkers, um, friends that you meet for dinner three, four nights a week, whoever that is. If you do not communicate with your team what your goals are and how you plan to achieve them, it, 
it's just not gonna happen, okay? And not mean or maliciously, but they will sabotage you every time, okay? And if you don't have the willpower and the strength built up quite yet in the beginning to say no to those things, um, then you, then it, you're, it, you'll collapse basically. So you have to get your team on board with you so that they're supportive, so that they help you achieve your goals. Um, if you are very serious about making those changes, okay? So I hope this is helpful. I hope you take it into consideration when you're making your resolutions this year, not to just make some broad BS statement. Let's get serious, let's set some goals. And this does not have to reply, or revolve around health and nutrition. I'm obviously just speaking to that because that's what I do. Um, my personal goal, I'll just put it out there for this year, is to manage my stress load better. So how I'm going to manage my stress load better is one of my biggest downfalls is taking my phone to bed with me at night and continuing to work for an hour and a half to two hours while I'm laying in bed. And then I have trouble sleeping at night. So I have already bought an alarm clock. Okay, there's one of my things to do to take in my bedroom to use for my clock to get up because I use my phone as my alarm clock. And then I'm going to leave my phone in my kitchen plugged in at night so that I can no longer work in the evenings. So I'm very specific and I've taken steps in order to not rely on my phone, like saying, oh, I have to have my alarm clock, whatever it may be, um, to keep it out of my bedroom and to help me decompress, to relieve some stress, and then hopefully improve my sleep at night. So again, it can apply to anything and just do it. Just be specific, set a plan down, talk to your team, um, whoever that may be, again, family, coworkers, whatever, talk to them, let them know where you're at, that you're serious with it. And who knows, you might inspire them to join with you. And then if you have somebody doing it with you, you you're going to, the chances of you being even more successful are greater because when you've got an accountability partner or somebody in it with you, um, you've got somebody that holds you to the fire and that's a good thing. So, all right, guys, I hope this was helpful. You can give me a, a like if you like this information. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel for more good videos and content as well. And I hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas um, and may 2021 be a better year for all of us. So see you later.